How is mutable water feeling about mutable earth? What is the issue? What is the issue, please? From Pisces' point of view. What? Is, okay, that is... Oh! <laughs> um, so... Okay, I know what the issue is. I know who's doing the number 15. I feel like uh, so this is a Pisces male, okay? I'm just, I'm just looking at this complacent looking person. Um, if you're a female Pisces, this is not about you. I, I'm just turn off the tape right now because this is, I'm picking up male energy like you wouldn't believe. I'm picking up some conquest energy here. Um, so this person could be a bit selfish, a um, little tiny bit narcissistic maybe. Um, he has a lot of passion for you though. The problem is, you know, he won't give you that ten of cups. You are his wish. All right. He's very, very happy. But do you know where you are? You're underneath that banquet tablecloth. And he's refusing to turn around and lift it up. He knows you're there. He's kind of feeling angsty about it. Um, but, you know, it's this kind of person that's like, I'm fine without you. You know, but you know they're not. He's not. Okay. Um, he's not. He isn't. There are cups above his head, remember. Okay. Um, all right. What is the challenge for this Pisces when it comes to Sag? What is the challenge for this Pisces when it comes to Sagittarius? Uh, hang on a sec. <laughs> Sometimes timing is just a bit off. Um, what is the challenge for this Pisces when it comes to our Sag? There we go. What is the challenge for this Pisces when it comes to their Sagittarius? What is the challenge for this Pisces when it comes to their Sag? Thank you. There you are. Yeah, I've got it. Well, the tarot has it. <laughs> All right, Sag. So, ah, uh, yeah, it serves them right. Look, this per so this Pisces has played head games. I've, I'm looking at two cards of Sagittarius. One where you're just fine and you're up for a brand new challenge looking away from Pisces. The other uh, is in, in the more recent past um, where someone has played head games with you. That, that's what that bandage is. So talk about a make work project. He's made work for himself. How did he do it? Um, by being narcissistic and playing head games with you, and it made you guarded, okay? So, and now it's his challenge to get you to turn around, because what's happening right now, so he's, you know, he's wondering why you're not under the tablecloth anymore. You're looking away, looking for something else. Why are you doing that? You're doing that because he made you feel like this. Oh, sorry. Well, that's actually, that probably wasn't an accident. He may have turned your life upside down, played head games with you to the point where you just didn't know what was real anymore. I mean, it's a stage card. See the gray flat surface there? So, you know, you didn't know whether to step up, step back. Everything you did in his eyes, I feel, was there was an error. And now it's his challenge to get you to turn around. He did this. He did this to himself. Okay. I feel like I'm reading for a female Sag and uh, who, who is seeing slightly narcissistic Pisces. Okay. He has a lot of love for you. That's the problem, right? So that's probably why you don't want to let them go. They love you too, but they, this, this, they cause this problem. Okay. I see you as just being happy-go-lucky now and being up, you know, up for challenges and stuff. Um, but but you had to, you know, this this damage, it was emotional damage, um, psychological, and it um, it screwed up the relationship and it's all Pisces' fault and they know it, okay? At least they know it, so he can't be a total narcissist. Um, I am going to look at what's crowning Pisces' reading. From Pisces' point of view... Regarding their Sag, what is crowning the reading? What is, what is the best that they think that they can obtain? What's going on? And the Okay, yeah, I feel like they are very confused. 
they, I, they actually, okay, so good. So you know what he's doing right now? Because he, he has to do this. This is the card of Pisces. He is trying to figure this out. He's hanging from the tree of life. Okay. Um, so at this point, he'll do anything to understand why you're behaving the way you are right now. All he needs to do is look at his own behavior. Um, but just look at what's on the bottom of the deck. There is a lot of love there. This is love for you from Pisces. Okay. Um, I'm just going to quickly look at the cards that followed it. Yeah. Look, he knows that he did this. There may have been some betrayal involved. He was controlling. He actually did know that it could work. It, yeah, this, um, just listen to this. This is, this is classic. I'm really, so, like, God forgive me for saying this. This is a little bit of classic narcissism. Um, uh, so don't talk to your Pisces about this reading, okay? Um, you know, I see uh, the chariot. So at one point, he's trying to control all the forces. Then I, I, then I see Mars in Leo. I feel like this was you just defending yourself. Defending a position that was great. It, so he, he liked the fact that he got you upset. Then he offers you a new beginning. You know, so you take it. Uh, he does it all over again and you've got to cut him out. You get to the point where you literally uh, you feel like you're taming a beast. Then he offers you another, you know, and then he's apologizing. Like this part, this is a card of Pisces. It stops there. It, it, it's, I feel like um, what's happening is this person was having some fun, throwing confusing energy at you, playing with your emotions, and now they're up the creek without a paddle because they realize they really love you. You are their wish. Now what are they going to do? How do they undo the damage? You know? Let's see if it can be undone. Um, I'm just going to... So almost afraid to look at this. I'm going to just get a couple of cards from the recent past. Just so um, <clears throat> for the people who are watching, you can figure out whether or not this is your situation. Although you should know by now, I think. What's happened in the recent past between Pisces and Sag? I feel like there's a strong desire on his part to clean this up. I just hope it's not too late. Because <laughs> you're already going in another direction. Okay? And looking fine. You're fine. Um... What happened in the recent past between Pisces and Sag? Yeah, I mean, this is incredible. Look, here's Pisces. Here's the card of Pisces. Having a ton of emotion for you, but not showing a scintilla of it to you. A ton of it. Look at this. This is karmic justice coming out. You know, it, it, there was something so unfair about this. The karma had to step in. I can't help but, but, but see, there you are on the back of the deck. I feel like you went, bye-bye, you know, um, when this happened. Is there anything? Yeah, he's angry, and he wants to look at this. Yeah. So in the recent past, he, he went, whoops, now I want to manifest a new beginning. Good luck, buddy. Let's just see if he can do it, okay? Um, I'm going to stick with the witch's tarot and just see if I can figure out um, how they're feeling right now, okay? How is Pisces feeling towards Sagittarius after all this playing with your emotions? How is Pisces feeling toward their Sagis? Okay, I think we got cut off a little bit. So we're looking at how Pisces, let there be light, please. Let there be light. It's not working. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> oh. Okay, sorry. Uh, thank you for the light. <laughs> um, how is Pisces feeling toward their Sagittarius? So we're tuning into Pisces feelings now. Mutable Earth. Forty uh, and slip. Um, mutable water. They're acting more like fixed water right now. Okay. Um, mutable water. I feel like this is male mutable water, okay? Um, how are they feeling towards Saji? Okay, it's an awful lot here. I mean, um, I feel like, yeah, N you know, now they want to offer you the four of wands, you know, like, they made a decision, oh, now I, I know what I want with Saj. Um, yeah. You know, there's, there's the Queen of Cups again. 
and then so, so they know they tricked you in the past you know you were all you know they they're feeling bad because they know you were up for it i know this is the card of aqua but you were happy go lucky with no nothing no baggage before you met them then they did this to you look at this ten of swords seven of swords tricky deception lies betrayal but they really loved you you know and here's where they are now. Here's how they're feeling. What in the hell am I going to do? You know? They don't know what to do. They're, they, I feel like they're frozen at a choice point. Um, uh, I'm just going to get something from the Wildwood. Um, what action are they contemplating? Because I feel like they're contemplating some action. What action are they contemplating? Now these this, these cards are bossing me around. What action? Okay. Oh my goodness. Okay. We're tuning into Pisces, mutable water. What action are they contemplating to take towards Sagittarius? Oh, okay. What action are they contemplating to take towards Sagittarius? Okay, I think we have to look at all these. Sorry. Yeah, they just don't know what to do. They think you're going to turn down the offer. They're seeing you as, uh, uh, they feel like you're bored of them. Um, they're mourning. I'm seeing the card of mourning. They're jealous. You may be seeing somebody new. Um, okay, let's just get one more card for their feelings. Okay, sorry, I think we missed a portion of that segment. We're going to get one more card for Pisces feelings toward their Sag. How are they feeling? Yeah, they want a new beginning. Uh, they desperately, they want you back this way. I feel like this is more about, uh, they're just, they're, they're upset to see you um, damaged and uh, having to move on. Although I think you're fine. They want the happy-go-lucky Sag back. You know. Anyway, um, let's just see what's, I'm going to see what's in the outcome, okay? I don't think that you guys are together, so this would be for Pisces and Sag, who maybe have recently, or, uh, th or, or perhaps things are a bit choppy, um, but I feel like it's a situation where Sagittarius has had to um, walk, the, you know, take a walk out the door. Um, you may not be completely gone. I think you're still in your heart is still partially with them. Um, but you had to emotionally detach from this because it was really damaging. Um, what's the outcome? What is Pisces going to come through here? Let's get a couple of cards for the outcome. Pisces and Sag from Pisces point of view. Oh, okay, so that's important. Let's see what else we can get here. This is important. I'm going to look at these two. Wow. We've got a card of Pisces, and it's the Nine of Cups. It's the Wish card, along with the Marriage card, the Ancestor, the Hierophant. Um, I, and I asked, what is Pisces going to do? I asked, Pisces is definitely going to step up to the plate. Do you remember in the original card when I was complaining about him not picking up um, the tablecloth? You know, so um, here's the Nine of Cups in the Wildwood. But this one is called Generosity. Okay? Um, so I believe that um, he's actually thinking back. I believe that card is about you. Followed by the Hierophant. So this is um, something conventional, stable. They want to give you something conventional. and They're going to do something conventional and stable. They Are, are they going to step up to the plate? I believe that they are. Absolutely. Um, if you're still up for it. You may not. Sag may not be. So, um, but hats off to Pisces for, for trying. Um, hopefully they've completely changed. <laughs> okay, let me know if it resonated. Thanks, guys.